，实拍实说，大地海外升学。好啦，我哋今次嘅訪問咧就會訪問咗 Department of Psychology 嘅，咁我哋就會訪問咗 Doctor Rob Lockin 啦，咁我哋同我哋就傾下偈，關於了解下關於 psychology 方面嘅課程嘅。So thank you very much for the interview. You're very welcome.、Yeah. Happy to be here. Yeah. So can you briefly tell me something about the department and、uh, why the students should choose to study here? Yes. Well,、um, we're one of the the largest psychology departments in 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 the country and.、Um, We characterise ourselves in, I think, three ways. We take a lot of pride in our、uh, research. So we were ranked、uh, third in the country in,、uh-huh. in the most recent research assessments.、So、that's a quite a big deal in, in in Britain. And we, out of all the psychology and neuroscience departments in Britain, we were ranked、uh, joint third.、Um, and. What that reflects is a, a really wide diversity of different types of research, studying all sorts of societally relevant、uh, and theoretically fascinating topics.、Um, and the second plank of who we are is that, on top of that, we、um, are really proud of our pedagogic,、um, our teaching、uh, skills, and the effort that we put in to our courses. So.、Um, For example, our, our head of teaching is an expert in teaching statistics, which,、mm-hmm. for many psychology students, is, an, is a topic which they're not particularly、uh-huh. necessarily looking forward to. But everyone has to has to study. And、um, in、uh, in in our department, we have somebody who's actually、um, leads the field, not in the research of statistics, but how to teach it. So we、um, uh, we're, we're often ranked near in 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 the top sort of. Quartile or better、um, for departments in 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 our teaching reputation、um, as well. But I think both of those two things、uh, are a second a, a, a subsidiary to actually the thing which、um, we we which I think has really characterised the psychology at Royal Holloway, which is our、uh, community. So、um, it, it's a place that,、uh, um, from the point of view of someone who works here, it's a lovely place to work.、Mm-hmm. And we put a lot of effort into building the community to make sure that the people who who come to study with us feel members of the community, feel part of、um, uh, the the community that we're building.、Um, and that's something that that probably is very easy to say things along those lines. We actually do stuff to actually make it happen. So、mm-hmm. we、uh, every December, for example, we put、uh, the staff put on a a, a, a pantomime, a, a British sort of form of.、Uh, Comic theatre to entertain the,、um, uh, the the undergraduate students, and this is just a way of breaking the ice, making、mm-hmm. people feel like they belong to the、um, uh, to the community and feel like that the, while they're here, they're they're part of they're part of us. Right, lovely, and and I think that's part of the psychology. So psychology for me is quite deep in for one's mind. So,、uh, but but at the meantime, the world is. Changing so quickly, so I think many people have questions: How learning psychology can help dealing with、mm. the world nowadays, and what's the changing? So, what's your opinion? So, I think that、um, one part of this is dealing with a challenge that that is 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 a is a sad one to to consider. But、um, mental illness,、um, mental health, well being.、Yeah. Um, These are all challenges that, unfortunately,、um, the world isn't coping with at the moment.、Mm-hmm. In in all of those cases, the situation globally is is getting、um, is getting worse, and we need psychology to understand how to begin to address those that, that those topics.、Um, so, in in a way, that's probably the most straightforward.、Um, Obvious answer I, I could provide to that, and we have, you know, many of our students are very engaged with those topics and go on to professional careers addressing those those issues. But I would also like to highlight that psychology is much broader than that. So,、um, for example,、um, research that's been done in the department, but also with the engagement of undergraduates helping with that research, is actually leading efforts to change how. We teach children how to read,、mm-hmm. so something that's a very straightforward issue, something that、um, 
you, once you've learned to read, you don't often think about how, how it's done and what the right way to, to do it is. But it's still the case that um, in many parts of the world, 80% of children don't know how to read. Okay. And uh, researchers in our department are actually leading the efforts to spread the science of how to read, the psychological science of how to read, through to countries around the world to, to actually change um, that for the better. Um, and one other thing that, again, probably you might not have thought about as part of psychology um, is uh, well-being in the environment. So I think a lot of the challenges that, that you were describing uh, that, that are going to be with us for the rest of our, our lives at the least uh, concern environmental change. Um, again, there's a psychological component to that. How do we, how do we um, teach people how to, to actually value their natural environment? And mm. How do we um, get people to engage with efforts to change that? So uh, research that's going on in the department is actually investigating how, um, uh, how children learn to, um, to value and enjoy mm. the natural environment they're in. So it's not just the straightforward right. mental, health, mental health things that people associate with psychology traditionally, but actually it's a much broader range yeah. of topics. That's, the, that's for the better future, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's an amazing job. So can you tell me something about your scholars here? The, the researchers yeah, in, yeah. In, in the department. Yeah. So as I've already sort of hinted, it's, it's a really wide range. I'm, I'm actually going to be a bit sort of um, uh, um, self-centered here and talk about myself to begin with because I illustrate something about the department. So um, I'm uh, a researcher that doesn't even work on humans. I, my, most of my research is actually working on animal psychology, understanding the cognitive um, abilities of other species. Interesting. So I, I study how birds and whales learn their songs and uh -huh. look at the similarities between that and the way that humans learn speech. So. Why am I mentioning myself in this sense? So the point is the, psych the psychology that's going on in Royal Holloway spans a really wide range of topics. So um, many of you listening are probably thinking um, animal psychology, comparative psychology, that, that, that's not for me. And that's perfectly fine. It's, there's, there's all types of psychology um, present in, in, in the department because we are this sort of a, a large research powerhouse. And you, you'll be learning not just from the textbook, but you'll be learning from people who are actually leading the research on that topic. So um, to talk beyond my own research interests, we have a very strong focus on developmental psychology, as I mentioned before, and, and uh, educational psychology, the, the psychology of how, for example, we learn to read. Um, we have uh, a large um, topic on um, clinical psychology mm -hmm. and also mental health. And we have a very strong focus now um, on the neuroscientific connections with psychology. So um, the department has its own MRI scanner. So this is quite an important piece of equipment for modern psychology so that we can actually um, visualize um, brains while psychological processes are actually happening. Mm. Um, and this is something that, yeah, not, not all psychology departments have to say the least. We host our own, um, and other universities come to work um, with us to have access to to to, to our mm. um, our facilities, um, and that's at the hub of a, a really thriving um, part of research, looking at all aspects of of, of of the way that the brain is involved in behaviour. So. I certainly haven't mentioned everything, but hopefully that gives yeah. you a flavour of some of the the, the right. areas that are here, um, and. Apart from the, 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 the actual topics that we cover, the researchers here are also at the top of their field. So um, we have people who've won international prizes for the impact of their research on society. Um, so Amina Memnon studies, uh, uh, for example, how this, the forensic psychology of how reliable eyewitness statements are um, for determining judgments. And she's won prizes for how she's actually affected the way that judges um, instruct the juries for for for, for those um, for those uh, tasks. 
Um, we have rising stars in the field um, like uh, Saloni Krishnan, who's won prizes from the American Psychological Association in, in the US because she's really driving forward her field looking at the neuropsychology of um, speech and language. So um, it's a, a lot of people studying a very wide range of things and also right at the top of the, the, their trees. Yeah, amazing. The range is so wide and build up a good foundation background for the students to learn about and yes. widen exposure. So can you tell me something about this, the courses here and what general skill set are you going to train up the student before they graduate? Yes, so um, I think one of the things that probably anybody who's already looked at our um, brochures or seen our things is, is sort of a slightly bewildering array of different names given to um, the different courses that we offer for, for undergraduates. And the, the, perhaps the most important thing to say is not to get too um, anxious about those, those different um, uh, choices and think of them more as a menu from which you can pick mm -hmm. the, the option that suits you the best and that importantly that you can change between uh, most of those options well after you've arrived here. So um, at the heart of things we believe that um, training training you to be a psychologist is uh, the, the, the similarities between the, the different topics is more important than the differences and over the first two years of study um, more or less people study the same things with only a, f a couple of different choices and that's because th these are core things that mm. nobody can really call themselves a psychologist without sort of having that those those fundamentals mm. um, in the third year there's various different options and most of the different flavors of BSc degrees that we offer um, are, are, are basically ways of describing different combinations of modules in that third year and so that could uh, perhaps be um, more on a uh, on a health uh, direction, for example, mental he uh, health and well-being direction, um, for example. But it's perfectly possible to pick any um, combination of modules that, that that interests you and you think is going to be important for your um, for your future. The other degree that we offer that is called an MSI, M S C I, S C I, um, and that's a four-year integrated degree so you have one extra year at the end and um, what it gives you is an opportunity to take more of those really high level optional modules in the third year the the the, the modules where we get right to the current sort of limit of our knowledge and um, in the fourth year you get more time to carry out your own independent um, research project so all of our students have to carry out an independent research project in a small group um, and in for the M size students, they get a, a longer period, more focus on that ha by having an extra fourth year. And in the fourth year, they also take modules alongside our, our postgraduate master's mm -hmm. degrees. So we think that this um, four year degree is, is one that um, uh, if you want to spend that extra year at university, it's something that will give you that extra bit of competitiveness in the in the labour market after you've graduated, that extra bit of training and intellectual maturity to make you stand out from the crowd. Right, so uh, when they graduate, so where are the common destinations for the graduates? Mm. Yeah. So as you can imagine from the diversity of topics within psychology, there is, is certainly not um, a degree which forces you down just one one channel. We do have a lot of our graduates uh, being interested when they come in and successfully going on when they leave to careers in, 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 in the clinical psychology and mm. mental health space. Um, most of the time for that, well, if I say most of the time, I think all of the time for that you would also need to go on and carry out postgraduate training too. So this isn't a, um, a, a career to go down lightly by any means. But um, that's a one. That's that's one very sort of dominant area uh, where our graduates go mm. go into. But beyond that, we have um, many students who go on into research. So mm. um, one of my students who graduated um, recently has gone went straight into a PhD at Cambridge, and I'm very proud of her, and she's doing doing great there. Um, we have um, uh, people who go. Uh, into business in the commercial world where psychology again is a very valued uh, valued skill um, 
we're really good, I think, as a department in our training on quantitative skills mm. and statistics. Um, and that is increasingly being seen as a destination for, um, um, for, for, our, for our graduates. So um, another one of my, the students that I, that I work with um, did really well in his advanced statistics module in the third year and has gone into a career in the civil service in their um, statistics department, mm. so working for the, for, the, for the government on statistics. So it's, it's, it's a degree which I think opens up a really quite a wide mm. range of different um, options for, for students. Right, so that's a degree for many possibility, mm. yeah, I'm, I'm sure. And thank you very much for your time and uh, learn a lot from you as well, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. 有海外升学问题，即刻 WhatsApp 大地啦！